everyone. Welcome back. Please come rate, subscribe, folks. Come rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank you folks for watching, liking, and sharing my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Oh man, listen. Just got done watching that game against the Jets. Ravens beat the Jets 42 to 21. This was it's not a good game. <laughs> not a good game for the Jets, I'll tell you. Um, you know, I predicted something like this, so I wasn't like, you know, unbelievably beside myself upset, but it's just like some of the things I saw out there were pretty ridiculous. Um, I'll start with the defense first. The defense, the defense had issues tonight. Um, we all know that the Ravens are one of the better or probably the best rushing offense uh, in the league, but they came out tonight and did really well against us running the football. Um, we had issues stopping it. Um, you know, Ingram did his thing, but it was the run pass option with Lamar Jackson that really scorched us. He had a big night tonight running as well. Um, we just couldn't figure it out. And that just opened up a lot of other stuff, too, because, man, our coverage was spotty at best tonight. There were so many wide receivers and tight ends just running wide open within our secondary. And there were so many miscommunications defensively in the secondary that it was ridiculous. Roberts looked terrible tonight. I don't know what he was doing. Um, they had him at safety at times. He looked lost out there. He had no clue of what was going on whatsoever. There were so many guys turned loose that I think – he was supposed to be covering, but he just kind of, you know, let him go, you know. Um, I think the Ravens scored in their first three drives of the game. They were just going down, and those guys that were running wide open, I mean, Lamar Jackson was just finding them. He was just finding them all night. Um, you know, Andrews was running wide open after getting turned loose in the secondary, and Lamar actually overthrew him. And, I mean, there was nobody within – probably 20 yards of him, and he just overthrew him. That could have been another touchdown. I think Lamar ended the game with five touchdowns tonight. Um, and if it wasn't, you know, guys just assignments being blown, uh, you know, missed assignments, guys running wide open in the secondary, not being able to stop the run, it was penalties tonight. We had big penalties. Neville Hewitt had a big penalty, pass interference on a wide receiver. Why Neville Hewitt is covering a wide receiver that far down the field, I have no clue. I don't know why he was – why that was his assignment, but whatever. Uh, he had a big pass interference. There was a lot of offsides and, and encroachment calls. Our, our D linemen were just biting on every uh, Lamar Jackson a hard count. I mean, they were just getting drawn offsides constantly. And if it wasn't that, then it was the unsportsmanlike penalties. Um, you know, uh, Jordan Jenkins, I think he committed two penalties on one play where he was offsides and then he had an unsportsmanlike penalty on that play as well. So it was just our defense struggled tonight. They really struggled at times uh, to stop things. Uh, offensively, whoa. Whew. You want to talk about... <sighs> it was just so up and down. Um, you know, Sam looked decent tonight. He made a big-time throw to Crowder in the end zone, uh, really threaded the needle and got it in there to pretty much give only Crowder a chance to catch the football. But... He had pressure in his face a lot tonight as well. He got hit a lot tonight. Uh, got a strip sack uh, that the Ravens were eventually able to score off of during one of their offensive drives. Uh, he also threw an interception before the half. He was just, he, you know, he just had so much pressure, man. He had so much pressure in his face, and he just couldn't really step into a lot of his throws tonight. Uh, the offensive line was getting beat by regular stunts. Um... We did give Le'Veon Bell the ball, I will, I'll say that. You know, I think he got like 20-something carries in his game. But a lot of them, you know, kind of couldn't go anywhere. But for the most part, man, the offensive game plan, particularly in the second half, was terrible. It was terrible. It was completely terrible, man. Whoa. The second half and the lack of adjustment by Adam Gaze just continues. And this is something I talked about in my preview. I knew that we wouldn't win this game because he never makes adjustments in the second half, and he didn't make adjustments in this game. And it was obvious. <laughs> it was obvious, man. And I keep telling people, you got to fire Adam Gaze. You got to get his ass out of here, man. He's got to go. Um, he's not a good head coach. He's not a good offensive coordinator. He's not a good leader. He's not. And we've seen the same thing over and over and over again. We get beat the same way, you know. And there's always an excuse for him. And it's never his fault. This is, it, this is his fault. This team just, the second half, they just completely fell apart offensively. I just, it just leaves me scratching my head, man. <laughs> I just, 
I can't I can't stand it. I cannot stand it anymore. This, that guy's got to get his ass out of here. We've got to fire him as soon as possible. You cannot let this guy stick around for 2020. You can't let that happen. That, again, is Jets-like. We've got to stop compounding bad decisions with more bad decisions. You can't keep doing this. Can't keep doing this. Uh, also in this game, it looks like Sam and uh, Adam Gaze also had a, an exchange on the sideline. Um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to hear more from, about that coming soon. Because, um, you know, it just happened. But it looked like Adam Gaze, you know, was talking to Sam and trying to tell him something and he, as he was coming off the field after a failed drive. And it looks like Sam turned around and said something to him that was not very nice. <laughs> and then he just waved him off, you know, like he had just had enough, dude. And, you know, <laughs> well, again, we'll be hearing about, you know, that coming up soon. I'm pretty sure it was something, but it didn't look good at all. And it looks like Sam is, you know, tired of Adam Gaze, too, at this point. Um, which, man, I don't even know what to say about that. But I will say that you need to fire his ass as soon as possible. You need to fire him as soon as possible. He's got to go. Got to go. Um, the special teams was probably the best unit on the field outside of Sam Ficken. Sam Ficken was terrible. Missed the field goal, missed the extra point. He didn't have a good night. Um, but the punt, the, the kick return, the punt guys, they were solid tonight. Um, you know, the, the punt guys actually were able to block a punt and return it for a touchdown. So, Brent Boyer, you know, hats off to you. The special teams was decent tonight. But, you know, that was that was pretty much it. This, this team just did not look good. Just did not look good. And, um, and, and the lack of adjustments in the second half, obvious. I'm talking about obvious offensively. We just, just kept doing the same old, same old. So... Please comment down below, folks. Let me know what you people think. I want to hear what your thoughts about this loss and, you know, where you think this team is going uh, and what this team could do to become better. Uh, you know, let me know. So, you folks have a good one. Peace.